Incorporating our XIO Bluetooth series is as easy as simply connecting it to your existing Dante audio system. And it's just as easy to pair your devices to start streaming your favorite audio. Out of the box, our XIO Bluetooth endpoints are pre-configured by default to function as a media receiver without needing further Symmetrix hardware or software. And all you need to do is pair and go. Once the units are plugged into the Dante network, open up Audinate's Dante controller software to manage your subscriptions. Press the pairing button on the face of your XIO Bluetooth for several seconds until the blue pair LED flashes. Then, on your smartphone or Bluetooth transmitter, scan for available devices and look for the default name of the XIO. It should be Symmetrix BT followed by numbers. Select this to pair. No password should be required. Once paired, the blue LED will stop blinking and remain steady. You are now ready to start streaming audio. If you are adding an XIO Bluetooth to an existing Symmetrix system, there are a few more options available for pairing that don't require the front pairing button. In fact, you may disable this button entirely and then use any third party or Symmetrix control to engage. Once placed into your Composer site file, an XIO Bluetooth creates an intelligent module, which is then used for direct control of the device. Double click this module to open and the GUI will appear with all controls available for the XIO Bluetooth. Notice the Pair Now button in the Input 1 and 2 section. Pressing the Pair Now button will activate pairing mode on the XIO Bluetooth, as you can see by the flashing blue LED. You can assign a control ID number to the Pair Now button, which allows you to trigger it via Crestron, Extron, or similar third-party control. Or you may assign to our GPIO for use with a physical switch or button. Or you may program this button to one of our ARC or W-Series remotes for use. Lastly, you can add it to a control screen and export to SimView for PC, our T-Series touch panels, or the control server. If a transmitting device isn't paired to the XIO Bluetooth while in discovery mode, eventually the unit LED will flash red and revert to its previous state. Of course, there are other settings for the XIO Bluetooth like multi-pair mode, security pin, phone mode, and a few more. However, these only function if you have hardware to push programming to, such as one of our DSPs.